hey all Taves here back playing some more planet zoo and back in missoula so this is episode four back with haribo say hello haribo hello haribo <laughs> never gets old never gets old every episode he almost killed himself because of your joke there <laughs> did you see him running to throw himself in with a reindeer he's like i'm done can't hear him say that again he, he looks a bit like will smith doesn't he can you say that well, where is he okay know. he's He's gone. He's gone. Right, so we're back standing in front of the reindeer habitat. We are going to show you the wolves today. Just realised how cruel it is that we've got the wolves right next to the reindeers, but hey ho. Uh, so this is so. Last episode was like all my work, and this is all Haribo's work. Most of it, yes. So we, yeah. yeah, it is all your work. I don't think I've done anything on this. Uh, so you did this little waterway, right? Coming across. Yeah, this artificial creek again. Let's continue to the to the wolves. A little bit of rubbish down there. I like my sheets. <laughs> Very nice. So we're back. We've kind of started in slightly in the middle of the park, but this is where we left you last episode. Uh, in the that's the the um, red pandas. So we're just coming around here. We've got this has obviously got to be done still. We we got an idea already for it. So And this is the main so kind of off the main path. Um we haven't done much of a kind of flyover and showed you the kind of lay of the land recently, but maybe we'll do that in the next one. Um so coming down this pathway. Oh, this is my one and only contribution. This is my one and only contribution to this episode. The grand, the grand tree that has been <laughs> chopped down. There's a little yeah. plaque for it. It's a nice one, and, and also the sign here on the on the left. Oh, and the little, on the right. The little signs, yeah, the little signs so far are mine. Because uh, we uh, want to continue this corporate design. Let's go st stand next to this awesome dude with his hair. <laughs> nice one. It's a YouTuber, I guess. Influencer. Yeah, <laughs> Oh, there's the first view of a wolf. This is so nice, dude. Yeah, I Again, like I think we're like the the jankiness of the whole of all of them. Like they do feel like natural spaces. That's what I like. Yeah. But, um, also, the I, I tried to um, make the the little pond artificial, so I put a little um, border around it, so it um, it's not lazy of me. It's um, it should be a border. This little bit here, yeah. Yes, yeah. Yeah, you've got some. You've got. A, I, we can't sit from here, but you've got. A, oh, you can just about make it out there. Yeah. Like a little drain or a filter or something there. Like this, um, this concrete wall as well. This retaining wall. Yeah, there are so many pieces in it. Not because of the stones, but because of the overhang. Mm. It's. It was a pain, but it's worth it. Yeah, you've done this crazy metal thing all around the habitat as well. Yes, all, all around. So why did you, what were you saying about that the other day? You said something to me about the fact that the, the fence overhangs are not big enough or something, right? Yes, I mean, I, I'm, I was researching it and um, you would need three things. Um, walls that are higher than two and a half meter. Overhang that is basically one meter and about uh, 45 degrees, sometimes less. And mm -hmm. you need gravel and you need concrete to stop these little um, beasts from getting out. Yeah. And I mean, if, if we just put it down a chain link, it would be easier, but. <laughs> mm, but that's not the way we roll. <laughs> that's not nope. the way we roll. So you're getting the first little sneak peek of something down here. We'll go around and see that in a second. And this is another little view. Again, I think you've like totally nailed the, um, you know, not being able to see other guests thing. That like you're totally kind of immersed in the habitat from this view. Yeah, we. I had a another layout, and uh, in the middle of it, I was um, recognizing it doesn't work and I was uh, in it for about two days, so... Oh god, I remember that. Yeah, I had actually forgotten about that until you started saying about it. 
there was yeah. a whole building here wasn't there that was like i really yes. loved it but it but it just didn't it never was going to work as a layout because basically you'd have to have this all blocked off yeah it was it, it felt like a pit and yeah. that's not that's not right exactly for... yeah it did feel it felt like it was all about yeah i guess it's an interesting thing isn't it that zoos do that kind of to keep you in the immersion it, that it is like a little window on a on a bit of an actual world apart from this bloke walking around in there but never mind uh, and if you as soon as you see other guests you're taken out of that right so, unless you take your you take yourself out and look look around so yeah then, yeah as soon as you turn you you're out of the out of the yeah exactly uh, picture right so this is a bit of a this is a bit of a um i think this is our first kind of really playful bit uh which i really kind love of. uh and it's a bit so the the so we've got this are you brave enough for the wolf's den so we've basically been talking about this we've been talking about this for a few days <laughs> um and i'm gonna do some signs in here my main point being that this is kind of feels like it's a thing for kids um, and then these don't feel like they are kiddy enough, but I think we can definitely. But the rest of it is so cool. I love this little bit as well, and the guy kind of picked. That is totally the sort of thing you see in zoos, isn't it? Yeah, and I would be scared if, if I don't see it uh, the first time. If I yeah. turn around a bit and then see this wolf. Yeah, exactly. It's just kind of lurking behind you. Have we got any wolves in the habitat? Oh, there we go. Look, perfect timing. Nice. So you might think this is their their actual kind of backstage area. It's not. There's a whole other dealie to show you for that. Just a, a showcase then. Yeah. But what's really good is that they use this a lot. Yes. Um, they, I think they, they uh, don't even use their backstage anymore. So No. It's a bit of a pity, but... That's all right. So this is the so the little that little door I showed you from the viewing point a second ago is kind of supposed to lead down here. It's sort of an implied. Um, and then is this supposed to be like a vent or something? Yes. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, that's such a cool little view. Um, and maybe maybe we can go into the habitat later. Yeah, I'll, we'll do a little bit of the in the night as well. This was one of my favourite things as well. Again, I think yeah. that's the sort of thing that like really brings back the the real thing, like the zoo bit of it. The fact that it's just kind of like a little, you've got a ventilation and stuff because it would get a bit musty and a bit smelly down here and probably smell a bit of, of wet dog. And the, uh, the cool thing is you, it's it's actually going through this, yeah, yeah. this whole rock. Can we, can we get up here? Yeah. Yes, yeah. I guess. So you've got this little kind of, <laughs> we talked about having a little Easter egg up here or something. I said something sick about having some some bones or something. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah, this is. Oh, oh no! You see all the secrets. <laughs> Don't see the secrets. Oh, tension cam skills have gone wrong. But there's a little. I'm trying to show you the fact there's a little cover up there. But maybe we'll just leave. <laughs> we'll leave maybe that. we maybe we can see it from from the ground level. Yeah, we can. If you can, can you? Oh, you from... can just about see it there. Yeah. Yeah. So I think once this is all filled out on the other side as well, this will look this will all look even more incredible. That's off the workshop, isn't it? Yeah. I can't remember who did those because I'm a terrible person. We we will we will we will see my uh, bad sign skill uh, in just a moment. <laughs> so remind not, not, this, not one. this one. <laughs> not not no not. I'm pretty proud of it. Like he's got he's got quite the chin. Is that a chin or is that a beard? That's a beard. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he's got some sort of growth on the front of his face, but no, that's no, cool. That does look, that looks really good actually. The nose and the little eyebrow bit there. Yeah, thanks. Super cool, man. Right, and then there's here's another little yeah a little window of craziness going on in here. We're so coming don't... to the to the thirty k little wood cabin <laughs> yeah so got it's this lovely little pond i think we need to do more of this actually i was looking yes. at this and thinking yeah we need some more of this little ponds and little things that are like implied 
I know Remnant's done a load of stuff in Balboa that's like lovely little implied water habitats. Uh, but yeah, that works so well there. It's amazing so, how well this path works as well with this. Yes, let's let's quickly mention the the custom roof. <laughs> yeah, it's the brace um, piece, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Do I even want to click up there? I don't know if I do. <laughs> uh, it's a, it's about one thousand per per site, or two thousand. I'm, I'm not two thousand. Oh yeah. God. It looks yeah. good though, and actually, it doesn't perform that badly. Like the thing with the that we had in the last episode with the um, tiled floor in the cellar, I'm yeah. surprised how well this performs com compared to that. Yeah, it's, uh, it's literally the the half of it of your pieces, so it's. <laughs> yeah, but I also wonder if it's the textures. The, the textures. I, I mean, in there is uh, another um, 8K piece. Um, this one this is eight thousand pieces so anyone yeah. well, let's not tell anyone <laughs> let's okay. say let's see if anyone in the comment section can guess what haribo made these pieces out of if you guess i'll be amazed i'll be very very impressed <laughs> but yeah this is cool little so this is our little sort of cabin in the woods thing yes and these cool. are the, the signs i made um and uh, i also did a little picture on the on the left of the fireplace i wondered if this was yours yes very yeah. it looks like it's been drawn by a five-year-old but <laughs> <laughs> yes thank you <laughs> it looks like it's been printed in, with potato printing or something like that yes it's it's from the director's child so. <laughs> nice brilliant <laughs> Yeah, you get so many good little views from this. This is definitely like a little a little hangout spot, right? You could spend imagine spending quite a lot of time. Kids would absolutely love this as well. Oh look at that. Taking a big turd at right on time. <laughs> <laughs> right on schedule. We never had one. Who let the dogs in? Since nineteen thirty there's been a progressive reduction in the size of Arctic wolf skulls. Which, oh, you've got a spelling mistake there, dude. Which is likely the result oh, of wolf dog hy hybridization. It's um, always to amazing be... to think that all dogs are like traced back to these sorts of things, isn't it? To, crazy. to be fair, I copied that from uh, Wiki, Wikipedia, so it's not my fault. <laughs> <You picked up. laughs> There's the Wikipedia quality control right there. Yeah, it should be a H in which. Okay. But yeah, this is a good view again. And you said that this was this was a kind of a thing to stop them from scratching at the glass, right? And from digging um, to the floor, it's yeah. pretty handy. Yeah, yeah, that's so cool. And if you if you go quick through the glass and turn around, just go into the habitat and, and turn around, you can see that there is also the the overhang. Oh yes, I was going to show this little tunneling. This oh, is yeah, genius. The... So this is where they're trying to escape. So this is so cool. This is so clever, dude. Like the fact that basically they've tunneled down to the to the concrete. Yes. So it tells you basically just to, to let you know that there's concrete under all the, like a load of this stuff to stop them from tunneling out. Super cool. Exactly. Yeah. Absolutely and also it. at the at the at the roof of the um, yeah we got this overhang all the way. Yeah. Yeah. So good, man. Right, we'll go back through the through the cabin again. Yes. And we'll end up but we'll end up back in the habitat at the end, I think. Uh, so a little chair. Did you make this uh, little chair in this little bench? Yes, I, I saw similar things on the workshop and I was thinking, yeah, can do that. <laughs> yeah, the scale is often the problem I find. There's always a bit difficult sometimes you can't tell when you download from something from the workshop. Can, can you do me a favour and, and put it to night time? Yeah, because the light and this, I love the the coziness in here. Yeah, very nice. I feel and like also, I need a I need a like a glass of whiskey or something though. Yeah, <laughs> Sitting by the yeah. fire, I would and just also, be I'd be that old guy, turns up in the zoo and just sits there all day, and lets the grandkids <laughs> go off and do their thing. I'm like, I'm yeah. fine. I've got a fire. Also did some custom lamps. 
for oh, the... Oh yes, yes, I forgot these. We've used these again now, haven't we, in, in, other, in other bits to come yep. later. Yeah, it's so cool. It's definitely got a really good vibe. But, but again, I think just doing little things like that bring it back to zoo enough. Mm. Which I mean, just the like the fact that support the the kind of the the um the realness of that. Yes. Yeah, so cool. Very cool. Right, let's go back today and then we'll carry on. Yeah, let's go to the backstage. Still quite a bit more to see in the backstage. Um to keep I have to keep remembering to keep my eyes open for the little bits and pieces. That tower looks so good up there, dude. Such a cool viewpoint. That little focal point all over the zoo, that little tower up on the hill. Yeah, we just have to detail it. Yeah. It's, it's yeah. just a just a model <laughs> for now. Uh, so we've got again one of these I can't remember what these are called but you you did a very similar sort of fence design yours is slightly yeah. thicker pieces than I did in the uh, the red pandas you know what's nice actually now is I think we're starting to get to a time in the build where we can start to reuse like I've started to pick stuff up that you've done and we can start to do and I've done that with my own things as well just kind of gone oh he's got one of those I can use yeah. Uh, right. So um, this is backstage to the kennels. Sorry, and God. that's also that's also uh, something uh, a zoo would do, just reusing um, styles and designs. Yeah. yeah. At, at at points where where it's not necessary to create something yeah. special. Exactly. Yeah. Um. So we'll go up this path in the next episode, guys. This little path here. We've got a little toilet block here. Um. And then we've got a building over there. We've, we've shown you a couple of times, but we're not going to do that this episode. We'll do this section in the next one because uh, it's not quite finished yet. Now we'll go through this gate. This is so cool. Um, yeah. Such cool first, details, man. First thing you see is the uh, cages and transporter thing from Carlos. Yeah. This wall again. Yeah, this is so cool. So this is like push the push the transporter thing up to the little gate, pull the rope, get the wolf through the through that into the little cage. Carlos is so good at these little these little containers and these little yes, yes, and these little things. And it's um, and it's pretty much in scale. That's what I love about it. Yeah, yeah. Again, it's getting the scale right is the is the important thing. I'm just going to poke my head through here. Um, so this is obviously back around to the habitat. So this is how the, the wolves get to the habitat. And apart from the fact that we noticed the keeper coming out from here, this is completely invisible, which is so well done. It's completely invisible to everything in the habitat. There's nowhere in the habitat. You can kind of see this. Um, and then again, I love, the, I love the fact that this has got this kind of support yeah, backstage supporting structures to hold this whole facade up totally just says it's not none of this is originally supposed to be here yes um i was a bit desperate how i could um yeah create this terrain to 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 one on the one side block the view and on the other side uh, make it feel natural yeah and and realistic the actual three points and <laughs> I think I thought, that's uh, it's a good compromise. I thought he was coming to get us then for a second. <laughs> right. So, should we go that way, or do you want to go back through the fence and back in the back in the door uh, on this side? Yeah, let's go the, uh, the usual way, not not through the not yeah, through the okay, habitat. Yeah, I'm just going to show you quickly the pumping station. Yeah, it's so from we've got, Carlos. We've got a couple of these, haven't we? We've got one in the original backstage. I'd never actually noticed there's a door there. That's cool. So this is a little little kind of backstage because there's water in there. There's a quite a large amount of water in there, so it's just you went through here a second. So yeah, back past this. Oh, there's that little drain again. Nice, you've yep. used that. As well. Um, yeah, sanitizer and the fire extinguisher. Is this custom, dude? No, 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 no. It's backstage. Come on. <laughs> I was gonna say, I was like, if that's custom, that's nuts. I've never seen that piece before. Is that just a breeze block piece? 
Yeah. Yeah. God, I don't really get, I don't think I've ever looked at it that closely in Teju Can. It's it's one of the in my opinion at least one of the best um, yeah. it's grid pieces. Yeah. That's pretty isn't it? Okay, so the, the thing that's super cool about this is obviously this is a dangerous animal so you've really made sure that you you know these are proper proper doors proper gates proper locking systems proper kind of oh <laughs> oh no <laughs> go back down <laughs> Shh, not supposed to have seen that yet right that's how easy the wolves escape just jump through the floor let's try this again hopefully we won't do it this time oh Okay, yeah, we got, made it. We made it. it. <laughs> uh, yeah, so proper kind of airlock systems. Obviously, you're not walking through one gate and into the wolves' habitat. Um, and you've got lots of ways of kind of locking them into different sections, uh, which is so cool. That's another. Is that another gate? That's supposed to be another like gate thing. There is it. Yeah, that's that's uh, actually the gate for the traversable area. So they, they yeah. can they can get here. But usually these um, gates would be way smaller. That's why. I yeah, it's interesting, isn't it? Upper. We don't really say, as we said earlier, we don't really tend to see them in this part of the habitat. They yeah. use that wolf, the, the little den, much more. Yeah. When the when the den wasn't there, they used this all the time. But yeah, no, they, they know. Yeah. So yeah, yes. nice little bit of a kind of a few little details, little broom. Um, hose and things very nicely done thanks little feeding little feeding things right I'm assuming yes yeah so you pull the pull the chute out put the food in push it through the other side right so this is actually the this is actually the I never actually really realized this but this is the gate the habitat gate so you've got yeah you've got quite a complicated fence so this is obviously all null barriers right all the way around this section right and and uh, all the path is two meter paths um, yeah. around the around the little cage yeah. area yeah it works so well and then if we go back through this back to the back to the bit we, we saw before <laughs> <laughs> sometimes sometimes they look a bit demonic they look a bit like westworld characters coming to kill you so here's everything in here's everything in context so far i think that was so cool man thanks um i think you've done such a good job of like stitching it into the landscape and stuff as well try not to kind of reveal what's behind me um but yeah all these little things again like the same the fact that there's like ventilation and windows and things light going down there which you don't really even notice from down there but it makes a difference there was, there was daylight in there that's, that's yeah the well exactly but you don't really i don't think i looked up particularly but mm. if you didn't have it you'd uh you'd lose all that so yeah so cool it adds such a massive great big sort of feature as well and i think the fact that we've got God, we got a little couple of little teaser views of it, haven't we? To lead you down. You can kind of just see it down there in the distance as you're coming down the path. Yeah. We need this, these little weenies. Yeah. The, the, we take... need a weenie. We, we need the weenie weenies. <laughs> <laughs> just, the, just the weenie ones. So, yeah, I think that's going to be it for this one, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you're enjoying this series. We're really, really enjoying making it, I have to say. And we're... Um, we're already kind of we're already recording stuff and we're already generally always fairly ahead which is fairly rare for me <laughs> i'm always generally quite behind but um but yeah i'm taking great pleasure in working on this project very much yeah so. we do it we're doing night shifts <laughs> yes we are generally doing we did what's that the other night we did basically like i was you... at the weekend i was 16 hours at it yeah and i think that was immediately after the same sort of time that i was doing it as well yeah, Car Carlos also. Carlos is still, yeah, and we still got Carlos contributing stuff. So yeah, next week we'll kind of fill in the blanks a bit, um, and we've kind of we've showed you this the food hall a little bit, uh, and then, oh sorry, not next week, next episode, um, and then we've got some more things coming down the line. All very exciting stuff. So don't forget to subscribe for to keep up to date with uh, with this stuff, and uh, yeah, likes and comments, all that sort of thing really help. 
was there was there a thing of oh and well, yes and let us know if you can work out we'll just watch these guys do their little break. <laughs> we've hired some some street dancers to come in and do some entertaining i was about to ignore Freaking. them but yeah <laughs> <Freaking out. laughs> Yeah, so if you can work out what the pieces are that Haribo has used in the fireplace, then drop that in the comments down below. And if you are the first person to get it, you don't get a prize. <laughs> you, just get, you get our appreciation and our, uh, yeah. Yeah, our then for you, for you, the next video will be for free. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right, guys, thank you very much for watching. Catch you guys on the next one. Do you want to say goodbye? Bye. Take it easy.